Welcome back. At home, I have a feed scanner. Whenever I scan hundreds of pages, there are blank pages in between. Let's take a look at them. You see that they are already divided into two categories, empty and non-empty. I wanted to find a solution to remove the empty pages automatically, so I created a neural network to solve this problem. And, of course, without writing a single line of code. First, I make sure the problem type image classification is selected. Then I choose that I want to use my own data source. As you saw, our data is images. So I choose data type images. I divided them into two categories, empty and non-empty. And I now add those empty and non-empty pages and label them. This is very easily done, as you can see. And now I simply click Start Training. After the training process has started, we see how the model is trained in a live view. For this example, I have 552 images, which is sufficient to train this neural network. I use 100 epochs to train the model. For those of you who are familiar with machine learning, the number of epochs has a great effect on the result. As you can see, the model has six layers. The first three are convolutional layers. Then there is a flattened layer, then there are dense layers. You can set all of the layers options in the GUI, like the number of filters, the activation function, the number of neurons, and so on. There are a lot of options, and all of them can be set within the application. We will take a closer look at layers and their options in a future episode. You can also set the optimizer function. We use Atom with a learning rate of 0.001. You can also set other optimizers and test how they affect your results. Now that the model is trained, we can look at the results. We will choose an example image. The example image chosen is an empty page and the computer recognizes this as an empty page. So the network works. As you see, without writing a single line of code, we were able to design and train a complete image classification model. In the next episode, we will get more familiar with other functionalities of this application.